I'm working on the tutorial from phpeasystep.com for creating a customer login for a website. Now this is step two where you're actually making the page of the form. I've got my editor open and I've already started creating a, a web page called mainlogin.php. Now this file has a PHP extension. Uh, in real life I would uh, use an HTML extension and make sure my HT access file understands that HTML files can contain PHP scripts on them. But for this demo purpose, we'll stick with the tutorial uh, a little bit more to the letter, and we'll use a PHP extension for now, even though it clearly has the look of a standard HTML web page. So I've got a page started up, and basically I'm going to go ahead and structure a, uh, an, uh, a neat-looking little login form. It's going to have a username box, a password box, and of course a submit button. And I'll construct that now. I'm going to create a div that will contain my form. And now I've structured a form tag. It's going to be method equals post. The action, of course, when the form is submitted, where will the data go? It's going to go to the check login PHP script, and the form has a name that the script can refer to. Now for the elements of the actual form. Okay, so now I have my form elements. There are two text boxes with an appropriate label um, for username and password. And of course an input type submit. Let me go ahead and save this and see how the page is looking so far. Okay, this is what we have, username and password. Person can click on username, click on password, and type it in. Now I did use a regular text box for password. If, for instance, we use type equals password, we can get that cute little box that will put asterisks in the text box. But I think for now, I'm going to stick with type equals text. By the way, that's not built-in encryption when you see those little asterisks. But it is pretty useful for real life. There we go. So we'll do this now for testing, then we can always switch it back to type equals password just before publication. I'm going to do a little bit of CSS to make this form look a little bit nicer. Okay, so I'm going to control the login form. I'll just give it a border and some background color and a set width. Uh, for my form itself, I'm going to give it some margin. Remember the form is inside of the login form. Um, I certainly could do this. Form inside of the login form. Um, I'm controlling my labels. I'm making them block elements, giving them width, floating them to the left so that their following input elements will appear to the right. And uh, for the label and the input, I'm giving them some margin bottom. So that way, there's my form. Okay, so now that I've got that login form created, this takes care of step two of that process. And then I'll move on to step three.